In this video, we will explore how to perform Spearman's rank correlation hypothesis test to assess whether a significant monotonic relationship exists between two ranked variables. Here we will use a five-step hypothesis testing procedure to perform this test. Let's consider the following case study, where a psychologist is interested in studying the relationship between a patient's self-reported stress levels and their sleeping patterns. The psychologist collects data from a sample of 20 patients, recording their stress levels ranked from 1 to 5 with 1 being low stress and their corresponding sleep quality ratings. The psychologist wants to test whether higher stress levels are associated with poorer sleep quality. The significance level is set at 0.05. Before proceeding with the hypothesis test, let's understand the concept of Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. We'll explore its definition, its applicability compared to Pearson's correlation, and the methodology to test its statistical significance. This will provide a solid foundation for understanding the hypothesis and interpreting the results. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient measures the strength and direction of monotonic association between two ordinal or ranked variables. Its value ranges from minus 1 to 1 where minus 1 represents a perfect negative association, 1 represents a perfect positive association, and 0 indicates no association between these two variables. Spearman's rank correlation is used when the data is ordinal or ranked, the relationship is monotonic, and the assumptions of normality and linearity are not met, while Pearson's correlation is used when the data is continuous, and assumptions of normality and linearity are met. The hypothesis test involves formulating null and alternative hypotheses, calculating the test statistic, and comparing it against a critical value obtained from the appropriate distribution or using a p-value approach. For smaller sample sizes, typically n less than or equal to 10, Exact critical values derived from the permutation distribution of Spearman's correlation under the null hypothesis of no association. However, when dealing with larger samples, a t distribution with n minus 2 degrees of freedom can also be used as a reasonable approximation. Next, we will conduct a hypothesis test using a five step procedure, formulating null and alternative hypotheses calculating the test statistic, determining the critical value from Spearman's rank correlation coefficient table, comparing the calculated coefficient to the critical value, and finally drawing a conclusion based on the decision. In our case study, the psychologist aims to examine if higher stress levels are associated with poorer sleep quality. This implies a hypothesis proposing a negative monotonic association between the two variables, while the null hypothesis states no such association. Therefore, we will conduct a left-tailed test to evaluate the evidence supporting the claim of a negative relationship. To calculate the Spearman rank correlation coefficient between stress level ratings and sleep quality ratings, we first need to convert the categorical sleep quality ratings into numerical values. This can be done by assigning a numerical score to each category as shown in the table. This establishes an ordinal scale where higher numbers represent better sleep quality. Next, we have to assign ranks to each data point in both variables, from lowest to highest. For the repeated data points, we will assign the average rank. Considering the stress level, sort the data points from 1 to 20 and then assign the average rank for the repeated data points. The first four data points are 1. This means we will assign the average of ranks 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the first four sorted data points. Similarly, the average ranks will be assigned for the repeated data points. Now, place these ranks for the corresponding stress level in the original unsorted stress level row. Now, assign the rank for the sleep quality rating, first sort the data points from 1 to 20 and assign the average rank for the repeated data points. Then, place these ranks for the corresponding sleep quality rating in the original unsorted sleep quality rating row. To calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, use the following formula, where d 
is the difference between each pair of ranks. N is the number of these paired differences, and M is the number of repetitions for each repeated rank. For each pair of data points, find the difference between their ranks. Square each of the differences obtained and add up all the squared differences. In stress level, five data points are repeated four times, while in sleep quality ratings, three data points are repeated four times, one data point is repeated five times and one data point is repeated three times. Now put these values in the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient formula. The calculated value is minus 0.8331. This value suggests a strong negative monotonic association between stress level and sleep quality ratings. In a statistical table specific to Spearman's rank correlation, find the row corresponding to the sample size of 20 and the column for a significance level of 0.05. The value at their intersection is the critical value. For a left-tailed test, the critical value will be minus 0.380. The rejection region for this test lies entirely in the left tail of the distribution, as we are only interested in values of the test statistic that are significantly smaller than expected under the null hypothesis. Since the calculated Spearman's rank correlation falls below the critical value, we reject the null hypothesis at a 5% significance level. A rejection of the null hypothesis suggests a statistically significant negative correlation between stress levels and sleep quality, that is, higher stress levels are associated with poorer sleep quality. By performing Spearman's rank correlation hypothesis test, the psychologist is now able to determine whether the observed association between stress and sleep quality is statistically significant. This can help inform treatment strategies for stress management and improve sleep quality.